It's like a very fashionable identity crisis. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Rider Kicks Figure Legend Rider Series Common Rider Build Cross Build Form. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right on top here, we have Cross Build, which is a uh, quite cool looking suit, I must say. I do like the design of that. On the side of the box, we have Cross Build. On the other side of the box, we have Cross Build. On the top of the box, Legend Rider Series with the visor there of the helmet. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. You have your cross cells. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And on the bottom, we have things and stuff that I cannot read. And Sir Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have the cross build form, which is obviously a cross between... You can see. You can see. But that's getting close here. So we can take a look at Build Bunjo. Bunjo build. And we take a look at the helmet. The helmet is quite nicely done. You got the silver here on the dragon side. And you got gold here on the rabbit side. Looks quite nice. Nice gold and silver along with the red and blue there. Nice metallic red, nice metallic blue going on in there as well. Nicely done. And the suit itself does have some nice gold paint tabs there. You got the build symbol there on the chest. Along with the flamey design of Bonjo's suits. You got some silver and black in there. Some more gold. Of course you have the build driver. With the can right there. This is actually, again, pretty, pretty nicely detailed. No paint, but it's actually pretty nicely detailed. And we have these sections here. Done in a nice, you can see it has that uh, a nice sparkly finish to it, which I love. Love that little sparkle, sparkle finish with the gold trim. And on this side, you have that sparkly, sparkly blue with the silver trim and the legs themselves. And you have the metallic blue, that metallic red. You got that gold, you got that silver in there as well. Looks quite nice. And moving up the back, not a whole lot to speak about paint wise. You got half of Bunjo's spikes there. Yeah, it's it's a very interesting looking suit, but looks quite cool at the same time. I do quite dig it. Now, as far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball joint. So you can wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. You can look up a bit, look down a good ways. Rotation, eh, it's pretty much as far as you can get comfortably. Arm on this side, uh, the shoulder pad can move out of the way to accommodate the movements of the arm. Can rotate, a full 360, can move in and out. You got bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You have your wrist rotation. On this side, the shoulder pad does not move. That is fixed in place, but the arm can still do a full 360. can still move in and out a good ways. Got bicep rotation, elbow, wrist. You have that torso joints right there on a ball joint. So you get all that wiggly waggly in the body itself. Uh, these pieces are, as you can see, a rubbery material, so they will move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that far, can move back. About that far, that word, you can get out pretty far. You got that thigh rotation right at the thigh itself, right at the hip. Uh, as far as the knees, you get a nice range of movements there on the knees and the feet are on the ball joint. You can move up, down, get your tiltage as well as a rotation. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, all you get with this guy is an extra set of hands. You just get an open just splayed out hand, the no hand, that's what I always call it. And you just get this kind of relaxed hand there. And as always, the hands very easy to swap out. Just pop out the existing hand and pop in a new one. There you go. Pop it out. Pop it in. So there is to it. So now you can get some new different poses out of him if you want. So you got that, and now for comparison, uh, here it is with Gio. Just so you can see how they look together. And here he is with the Rider Kicks build and Bonjo. So you can see how they all look together. So 
There you go. So there you have a cross build. Um, it's a really cool suit design. I do quite dig it. It's got some nice coloration on it, and overall it's a pretty nicely done, uh, fun little figure. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as uh, CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, there'll be a link to their site in the description down below. You can also check out the Geo playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Rider Kicks Figure Legend Rider Series Common Rider Build Cross Build Form. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, home in your face. Oh man, Bill, that is such a cool form! You mean your sidekick actually let you use part of his form? Yeah, I mean, we're a team, that's what we do. Why can't we be like that? Is it because I'm gonna be evil? Yeah, that's it. He, he, he doesn't understand the whole teamwork thing, he, he wants to kill me. Well, if you're gonna be evil, you kinda deserve it. I mean, killing your partner is wrong, no.